All right, all right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hope everybody's doing well on this beautiful, blessed Tuesday morning. As I give God all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. Let me say this off top. A lot of people, you're not going to like this video. Because JT is going to lay it out her real, and I'm going to lay it out her right. And if you got a problem with it, take it up with God. You see the title up there, Be Single Minded. We got single-minded people and double-minded people. You got single-minded Christians and you got double-minded Christians from the pulpit on down. You know, since we are anointed, but not everybody, we are anointed to be the prophet of our own lives. But we know Christ is the head of our lives. But so many people run into the prophets. What should I do next, prophet? I need your advice on this, prophet. Prophet, what do you see in my life? What do the Lord tell you what you got coming in your life? Hmm. Now we so weak, we need the prophet for everything. We need the holy oil. We need the napkins. We need all of these things. You need Jesus. And the reason why so many are lacking in so many areas, because the Bible tells us, in Psalms 23 and 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. A lot of people quote it because it sounds good. Oh, I got to give it to you right in this video. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I only hear a lot of people quote that when it's time to eat. Oh, yeah, I'm getting ready to eat. Let me say my grace. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Thank you, Lord. Mm. And some of us don't even want to say our grace because we worried about who looking at us. We are ashamed. You get around certain people, you're looking around. If you're going out to eat, you don't even want to say your grace. But not to jump off into all of that. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Meaning we shouldn't lack for nothing. Oh, good God Almighty. I wonder what would people really do if they start losing everything they got right now. See, I found out also that the reason why so many Christians don't receive from the Lord, not because they ain't giving, not because they ain't tired and they not helping, but because they are double-minded. Uh-oh. JT, you show sticking on this, sticking on this double-minded? Yes. Just say amen or ouch. I know most people think, well, a Christian can't be double-minded. Hmm. I'll let you answer that yourself. Proverbs 6 and 2 tells us in the word of God that these type of people who are double-minded, that they are snared with the words of their mouth and are taken with the words of their mouth. See, James already told us that a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. You notice it said, all of his ways. Let me rewind that because I was in the ways. All of his ways, not some of his ways. See, some of y'all women are married to a double-minded man right now. And when I'm saying man, I'm going to say mankind. Women also. It's some double-minded women out here. Some of you men are with a double-minded woman. Woo. See, James told us about this double-minded. Being double-minded, unstable. And, 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 and people don't catch this in the Bible sometimes. When you think about the word of God and meditate on it, study it, read it, and most of all, live it. The book of James told us to be not only hearers, but be doers. Mm, God Almighty. And it also says that out of the same mouth, I'm going to James 3 and 10 now, out of that same mouth proceeded blessings and cursings. I said cursings, not cussing to you religious folks. See, folks need to learn the difference between cursing somebody and cussing. James was saying these things are not to be. It also says in the word of God that if any man among you seem to be religious and bred it not his tongue, but deceive it his own heart, this man's religion is vain. God Almighty. James 1 and 26. See, the Bible tells us that we shouldn't let anyone who wavers in his faith, we're talking about double-minded people, we shouldn't let them think that they will receive anything from the Lord. That's kind of harsh, JT. No, 
That's the word of God. Let me rewind that. Just be for the Lord. Let me rewind that back because the Bible tells us, let anyone who waver, don't. Oh, good God Almighty, I feel you. We shouldn't let anyone who wavers in his faith, I'm talking about double-minded people, think that they will receive anything from the Lord. This is rough to deal with, people, because we have double-minded pastors. Uh-oh. Oh, I hope y'all listening. JT, go take it to the church. You got double-minded pastors, and they still wondering why the church ain't moving. They only see things they way. They done cut God out, and they steady crying, Lord, where my church at? Where my members at? While we are not growing, you got double-minded pastors. We have double-minded minister of music, Smitty, man. Uh-oh. We got double-minded directors, big-headed directors. You can't tell them nothing. We have double-minded deacons. Uh-oh. Trustees. I'm hitting all of them. Double-minded ushers, choir members, praise team members, all these leaders, evangelists, prophets, bishops, all of these things. Have you ever tried to get a true understanding with a double-minded person? I'm going to close in a minute. Let's just talk about double-minded for a moment because I want you to understand at the end of this video to ask yourself, are you double-minded or are you single-minded? Double-minded people. Double-minded means they wavering, undecided in the mind. It means this person or persons can be having different minds at different times. Uh-oh. I sound like somebody crazy. Let me say that again. They mean they can have different minds at different times. They already lack wisdom. You can't never figure out what kind of way they're going to be. You ever go to church or on your job, people that claim to be Christians, have you ever just tried to watch some of them and how they be? God Almighty, let me just use, let's just make up a name. Brother Bobo. Brother Bobo is cool on Sunday. I'm about to close in a minute. He's real cool on Sunday. Seems like he's all right. But then he turns around and act a fool on Monday. He even might be on point in Bible study and could even teach it on Wednesday. But then he horned around on Thursday. That's a double-minded man. He might even pray for others on Friday, but then he turn around and get drunk and high on Saturday. And when I say man, like I say, I mean women also. But to be single-minded. See, I hope don't none of y'all fit in this double-minded category. To be single-minded. See, single-minded people are determined. Like my brother, Mitty Man. Like my sister, Lady D. Like my sister, Lisa. Like Maria. They, like my girl Deborah, like my boy PP Drawings, these are single minded people. K Ray, they ain't double minded. Because you know why? They're not unstable. They got a purpose. God Almighty. They think for themselves. Woo. They shoot high for their goals in life. They relentless, they persistent in everything that they do. These are single minded people. I love how Mitty Man has blog talk and those faithful ones just come on now. God Almighty. Like my little brother Marquise and, and, and Orange Flavor and, and I Rock. All of y'all are consistent. They ain't afraid to ask questions. Not afraid to step up. Not afraid to tell you the truth. So which one are you? Are you double-minded or are you single-minded? Oh, I pray some of you pastors are looking at this. Yeah, take it from a little old, simple old servant with no degree that can spread this news when I will stand on what you won't stand on. See, God gave me favor. God Almighty. I'm going to go ahead and drop this and leave it alone because I'm feeling too good. I done already made too many people mad, so take it up with God. If you're mad, oh well, I love you anyway. You're only mad because the truth hurts. Are you a single-minded man, woman, or are you double-minded and unstable? And not some, but you unstable in all your ways. And you will never move forward. Because as the scriptures say, don't expect God to bless you when you are 
double-minded because you only compromise pretty much with yourself. I know this going to hit a lot of men because your egos and your chest stuck out. So let me go ahead and get up out of here. With that being said, may God bless you and may God keep you. Peace.